Hey, what's up everybody? This is Lee from Adventure FPV and today we are doing a little scouting, a, some pre-work for a one-shot job that I'm doing actually for a retirement community, uh, which is kind of interesting. I'm uh, kind of impressed that they were even willing to do something like this. It's kind of a, a new age thing for something you don't really think of as a new age thing for a retirement community. Uh, they're wanting to show the facility to do a tour. They have three of these locations. This is the first one that we're looking at. It's a very large facility, so we're gonna take a look at uh, what it's gonna take to get this done. So here we go. So we're on site at the Gardens on Quail Retirement Center, and we are going to be doing some practice runs for an FPV one shot that we're gonna be doing for three of their facilities. We're gonna meet with management today. I'm not gonna be doing too much filming behind the scenes, but uh, yeah, we're gonna do a couple practice runs, then I'm gonna script it, and we're gonna sit down, and we're gonna come back, and we're gonna film the whole thing. So here we go. As I mentioned, there was not a lot of behind the scenes filming that happened. It was basically just me working with the management. They were showing me the features that they wanna show of the facility, and then I came up with a flight path. This was just for testing. This is not a final product. Basically, the video you are about to see was one of my fly throughs with narration, giving the client suggestions of what I think should happen in the final video. I just wanted to show you a sneak peek. So after our first couple test flights, uh, I did come up with some suggestions of things that we should be doing. So obviously we're going to be starting outside instead of in the lobby, but we didn't have enough resources for our spotters to be in enough places to start outside. So we just went ahead and started in the lobby. But in the final video, we will start outside and fly in. Now, there are some parts that are going to need some adjustment. There are some areas that are dark. Uh, this is not the full color graded system, but we're going to come around the front desk. We're going to have a couple people interacting, maybe have some people at that table there. Um, I am using speed ramping to get through some of the parts that are, you know, not as interesting. We can adjust how we do that uh, depending on your needs. But yeah, we're going to come through the diner. If we could have a server, if we could have some occupants in here dining, that would be awesome. Make sure that all the lights are fully on in here when we do the final product. And then we will speed ramp out of here. I might cut through that window uh, for the final product. We're gonna enter onto the Cinder Cinderella balcony and we're gonna enter upstairs and hit the movie theater. Now this is pretty dark in here. I will make adjustments to the camera and the final color grading to make this look a little bit better. But yeah, we wanna make sure we don't have any copyright material playing on the TV. So we will put up something that's safe. And as we exit the theater, we will come through this common area. I will probably cut through the physical therapy area if we can have some people in there doing some physical therapy, that would be great. And then this is obviously the long hallway shot. This is a sped up shot here. We could probably have some sort of interaction with staff and clients in the hallway there would be great. And obviously this is another great place to have people interacting. Make sure we turn on all the lights. Now, as we enter into the room, I notice that the lights are blown out from the shade. So what we probably wanna do is pull the shades down and just twist them cracked open a little bit. It would also be nice if we had one of your occupants in this room doing something that would be kind of cool. And we will fly out through the common area, maybe have someone sitting on the couch in front of the fireplace and then off the balcony into the nice courtyard here. Now we do have some options here in the courtyard. We could come down and show some of the features. That's really up to you guys, how much time and features you want to show out here. But we do end up zipping through to the fifties diner. We could have a couple people in here eating would be awesome. And then we can zip out the back. Now, obviously we're going to wait for the weather to get a little bit nicer to do the final video. So, you know, I don't know if we don't have people out here walking, obviously these gardens will be in bloom too. So if we can have someone out here planting, that would be great. And then of course the putt putt, if I could have something scheduled where someone's standing there hitting the ball, that would be awesome. Now you notice there was a little dip there because of the wind pressure because she just opened that door. But uh, yeah, we'll come through here and show someone playing games. It'd be nice if we had people playing chess right here. And then we will come out into the courtyard for the last time and we will zip up and show the mountain view and reveal your logo at the end. So I'm thinking this will probably be pretty close to what the final product will look like. Uh, these are just my suggestions. I definitely want to work with you as the client to figure out what works best. So I hope you guys enjoy this first look and it gives you some insight as to what the final product will look like. All right, so that went pretty good. Um, we went to plan. I had my spotters in place. We couldn't do everything we wanted to because we didn't have enough spotters until the day of the, the actual flight. But uh, so far, so good. I'll keep you guys up to date when we get the actual final product done. I appreciate you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.